Remedy has stirred the pot with a sweeping shakeup of its executive team, starting with the departure of Chief Operating Officer Christopher Schmitz. In a recent press release, the company unveiled a reorganization of management roles, dispersing Schmitz's responsibilities among several individuals. Consequently, this position at the studio has been axed. In a statement, Remedy's CEO Taro Vertala extended his gratitude to Schmitz for his contributions to the company. Over the past five years, Schmitz tackled a plethora of tasks, including laying the groundwork for Remedy's multi project model and bolstering leadership in gaming projects as well as contributing to support functions. Virtala warmly thanked him and wished him the best in his future endeavors. The studio also announced some major personnel changes, appointing Mikael Kasurinen as creative director. Previously involved in developing Quantum Break and Control and currently heating up Control 2, Kasurinen will now join the company's leadership team. He steps in as one of the key creative leaders alongside Sammy Jarvie, known for his work on Alan Wake 2. While the Reasons behind Schmitz's exit from Remedy remain shrouded in mystery. Speculation suggests it could be tied to the company's overall successes, which may have also catalyzed Kasurinen's promotion. It appears these moves are part of a broader strategy by Remedy to transform Alan Wake and Control into major franchises. These staffing changes could be seen as a strategic maneuver towards achieving this ambitious goal. With Alan Wake and Control, we now have two established franchises, and our ambition is to grow them into franchises that have high brand recognition. Steadily growing user base, more regular cadence of sequels and an ability to generate revenues and profits at a high level," said Taro Vertala. Remedy's latest notable release, Alan Wake 2, hit the shelves on October 27th. This release was neck and neck with other major titles like Insomniac's Spider-Man 2 and Assassin's Creed Mirage launched the same month. Despite the stiff competition, Alan Wake 2 managed to stand out bolstered by glowing reviews and notable award nods, cementing its place as one of the studio's most successful ventures and reinforcing its industry clout. In addition to celebrating current successes, Remedy is actively developing new projects, including Control 2 and Remake of the first two Max Paynes. These upcoming ventures underscore the company's ambitious plans to expand and deepen its franchises. While there hasn't been an official confirmation of Alan Wake 3, developers have hinted at future plans for the series. In the near term, players can look forward to two story-driven DLCs titled Night Springs and The Lake House. Sam Lake, the creative director, pointed out that these DLCs are pivotal to the overarching narrative, laying the groundwork for Control 2. It's previously been confirmed that the events of Control take place within the same universe as Alan Wake, tying the two series closer together. Currently, the trajectory of Alan Wake's story remains shrouded in uncertainty, and it's unclear whether it will culminate in a definitive finale. While Control 2 has already been announced and Remedy has initiated work on the Max Payne remakes, these titles are likely to take precedence over Alan Wake 3 for some time. However, if wrapping up the saga necessitates another entry, it should ideally enter production alongside these projects. It's been 13 years since the continuation of this narrative-driven franchise, and fortunately, Remedy's fans are still eagerly anticipating more tales of the troubled writer. Given the ambiguity of the future, many fans would prefer a clear endpoint for Alan Wake's story to be set by the end of the second installment without excessively expanding the universe. Whether this closure comes in another game, some DLC, or even within Control 2 is less critical than ensuring that an end is in sight. Let's hope that with such a guiding principle, Remedy can smoothly bring the Alan Wake franchise to a close, ensuring that fans won't have to endure another lengthy wait. The release date for Alan Wake 3 remains undisclosed, but it's unlikely that the game will launch before 2026. Now, Remedy plans to focus on developing the sequel to Control. However, one thing is certain, we will definitely see more of Alan Wake in the future, as his story does not conclude in the second installment.